Before the video starts, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications, and like the video. <laughs> Hello guys, Betcheat17 here. So if you've been living under a rock for the past half a year, you wouldn't know that Joe Weller and KSI are having a fight. One of the biggest things to happen on YouTube since Logan Paul. Anyway, that's none of, none of my business. Today I'm going to talk through who I think is going to win, who I want to win. At the very beginning, when they said they were going to have this fight, when they announced it at Upload, um, then I thought I'd, I'd have backed Joe Weller all the way, just looking at his size and his muscles and everything like that. And then he kind of went quiet. Didn't really see what, what was going on behind the scenes based on Joe Weller. But KSI... Shown everything that he, well, not everything they did, but like most things, most training, most training that he went to, and we've just seen him grow like massively. Um, you could you could see from the upload how he was quite not how do you put it? It was it was broad. He wasn't like muscly it was broad but now six months down the line is he he's got muscles and he, he looks bigger uh, that's what people are saying as well people are backing ksi because of his height difference on joe and possibly his stamina as well i don't know possibly and and the weight but the weight doesn't come into it because True Geordie did a podcast with both of them, not in not in the same video. Bloody hell! He did a one one on Joe Weller, and then the next day he did KSI. And looking at both of them uh, in the press conference, press conference with the podcast with Joe Weller said that he only weighed two kg less. In KSI, so there's equal, but I, I forgot who said it now. I think it was Anderson Gibb when oh, so, someone went around Tower Block asking who's gonna who's gonna win. JMX JMX went around Tower Block asking people who's gonna win and everything. And I think Anderson Gibb pointed out the fact that he's backing KSI just because he's he's taller. He's got more reach. Um, Joe Weller's boxed before, but it wasn't really a boxing match because it, it was Theo Baker, weren't it? Uh, so, <laughs> Joe Weller's boxed before. KSI, by the looks of it, has had the hard in, harder training session. The only bit that we've seen about Joe Weller in the whole of the training process into the fight is what he put on the, the 31 second sneak peek that he put on his Instagram and his YouTube channel the other day. Um, yes, he's grown. He's, he's much bigger now, but I just I just think in his podcast, going back to the podcast with True Geordie, I just think that he didn't sound as much confident as KSI was. And if you're going into it and you're not as confident as your opponent, if you're not matching them on confidence, then I think that might just knock you a bit. Joe Weller's had injuries. KSI hasn't. KSI, I, I forgot his last injury. He's probably, he probably hasn't even had one. He, it's hard. It's, it is it is very hard, but like I said, at, at the very beginning, I backed Joe Weller. 
I've kind of gone off the slant now. If he's shown us what he did during this training process, then I might have still backed him. But because we've seen what KSI has done and how he's trained for it, I have to back him. And due to the stats as well, I mean, being too kg heavier than your opponent doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything. Like I, I know nothing about boxing, but I don't even like boxing to be fair, but it's two of my favourite YouTubers, so I can't really deny the fact that I need to do a video on it. That doesn't matter. The KG doesn't matter. It's about, like I said, like I said earlier, if you're matched on that, then you have to go by confidence, or you have to go by height, you have to go by sheer willpower. Uh, KSI said in his podcast with True Geordie, I keep going back to it because that's the most research resource says you're going to get for the fight. He said, he said something like, I can't remember quite what he said, but he, he was just so confident and he said he's going to go in there, he's not going to let anyone else get to him. And I... I, I'm, I'm back in KSI all the way. Um, whatever happens, happens. I, I don't really want to see anyone proper hurt. Because going back to the podcast again, True Geordie pulled up a good fact about have you ever actually hurt someone. And KSI, when he was doing the sparring during the training sessions, he knocked someone clean out. Clean out. And then you could see the shock on his face. When he, when he did it, and that he were, he were explaining on how he felt and everything like that. He was like, "If this is Joe, blah blah blah." Um. Yeah, I. I want to know who you're backing, really. I'm backing KSI. If you're backing Joe Weller, fair enough. He might win. Like I said, I don't, I don't mind who wins. Um, it 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 just be good to see KSI win because of what Joe Weller has done to him in the past. Uh, Joe Weller's paid for his uh, KSI's paid for Joe Weller and Elliot Craw Crawford to go on holiday with him. They've, they've paid for everything near enough. But the only thing bad that KSI's done to Joe Weller in the past is steal his girl. So <laughs> I'm back at KSI. Tell me who you're backing in the comment section. Uh, there are other four fights going on on the undercard on the day, but we don't we don't really care about them. They're irrelevant at this point. Um, so they're my points of it. Let me know your conclusion, your points, and what you think is going to happen on the day in the comment section below. If you are new to the channel, wouldn't mind clicking subscribe. It will mean an awful lot to me. Like the video if you have enjoyed. Most of all, remember, keep watching your screen. Keep watching that cheater 17.